Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about job site accidents and what happened to me uh, 15, 20 years ago. Um, I nearly cut my entire thumb off because I was not using one of these. Okay? And this is called a push stick. And usually one comes with your table saw and occasionally you're in a rush. And that's exactly how this happened was I was using my thumb as a push stick and I thought I knew what I was doing. I'm a professional. I know how to cut boards on a table saw. Um, but if you get something out of this video, uh, I would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we put out fresh content. So basically what I was doing, I was ripping some really thin uh, pieces of PVC. Actually back in the day it was a composite board. And I was doing, we we're like on the final day of the job and I was trying to hustle and get out of there. And you know, we wanted to go by get lunch or do something. I don't know. I had a board and it was wider than this. So I would never try to rip something with my hand in the way. I'd say it was about that wide. I was running my hand along the fence like this, using my thumb as a push stick. And I didn't have an outfeed table at the time. It was just the table saw on a stand. It didn't have an outfeed table. So like a dummy, I was reaching over like this because this board was chattering really bad, really bad. And I thought I had it. I was paying attention out here. I wasn't even looking at the blade and it went like this and like this and then wham, it was that quick, wham. And all of a sudden I go like this and there's this blood running down my arm. I'm like, oh crap. It would, and my thumb just completely went numb. And I shut off the table saw. I took a brand new white towel and I wrapped up my hand. And I was like, let's go to the hospital. I went, we went to a dock in the box first, which was like a, you know, just an emergency clinic that was in the local neighborhood we were working in. And they came and they cleaned it for me and they looked at it, they go, this is beyond our capability, sir. Uh, this is pretty bad, pretty bad cut. You, you know, you might lose your thumb. And I'm like, great. And I was like, you gotta go to the hospital. So we went to the hospital got right in and then they looked at it and they're like, okay, I think we can stitch it back together. So this is where the frustration started for me because it wasn't so much that I did something stupid. I wasn't using a push stick. I wasn't paying attention to the saw. I didn't have any anti kickback device on it, which I have one for this saw. It's just not installed right now for clarity. And uh, I didn't have an outfeed table like this, like this cut hub. This cut hub is so universal. We've done a review on our cut hub. You should go back and take a look at it. So I get to the hospital and they put 17 stitches in my thumb, all the way from up here, all the way around to here. I almost cut the whole tip of my thumb off. And then I also got some gnarliness down here for some reason. I, I think I double cut it, but there were stitches everywhere. And then I had to learn how to take care of that, how to clean it how to put iodine on it and and dress it every day. And I had to wear a sling for like a week and a half. I couldn't have any feeling in my thumb for a couple of years. And now I do, but now like the skin uh, fades away on it, breaks away, chips off. I still don't have some feeling in my thumb. All because I did not use a push stick. So if one person watches this video and always uses one of these for the rest of their life, then I feel like this video was worth shooting and I think it was worth the time to take just to say, hey guys, when you're using a table saw, use a push stick. Look at this thing. This one's fairly new and it's hammered, okay? That's a thumb every time, man. If you're, if you're trying to push something through, just don't do it. This one's about ready for replacement, actually. Always use a push stick, be smart, when you're ripping thin stuff, it can be dangerous. So I sometimes I use two sticks. Like if I'm, if I'm ripping something that I'm not sure about, I might be ripping this board down like this. I might be using a, a stick like this to pull, push down on it, or I might be putting one right here. So as it comes through the outfeed table, it stays in a parallel line with the fence. Sometimes I use two push sticks now and not just one. And that's because it was $17,000 to fix my thumb and two years of, of, of frustration. So, hey man, if you guys have your own personal injury stories, maybe you nailed your hand to a board or shot a nail up into your finger or whatever, leave your comments down below. 
Um, maybe we'll pick one or two of you to be interviewed on Skype and we'll put you up on our YouTube page. You never know. Uh, that might be interesting. It's all about safety and we want you guys to be safe out there. Uh, I know that there's a lot of risk takers. Maybe we can just develop some shortcuts so you daredevils out there can be a little bit safer and keep all your limbs, man. Um, so if you got something out of this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. Leave those comments below. Again, with your stories of what happened to you and, and what you're going to do to never do that again. And also, don't forget to visit Dr. Dex Masterclass if you want to learn how to bend deck boards. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for listening and watching. Have a great day. Hey!